Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. We're continuing the Getting Started series of our products. Uh, this is step five, and we're gonna go into some practical stuff that I think is pretty awesome. So in the last video, we got everything installed up and running. This video, we're gonna show uh, instant value, pretty much. This is our package library. This is what comes with Deploy when you get it installed. Uh, list of all the packages. I don't know the exact number. I'm gonna say near I'm not, I'm not even going to guess. There, there's lots. I'll, here, I'll do a quick scroll for you so you can see. Oh, look at all that packages. I don't have to worry about any of this. Fantastic. All right, so now that we have those, we can see them. Uh, just you can kind of showcase how quick it is and easy it is to install those. We'll just do 7-zip since it's at the top. Uh, I was going to say alphabetically, but I guess it's numerically at that point. Uh, the way this works is every time a package update comes through or a software update comes through for any of the software in our library, we get alerted for that. We go through, we download it, we test it, we put it up against uh, virus total, make sure it's a fine installer. We test the package, make sure it installs. We do all the testing for you. So once we're done, we upload the new version, your product will get alerted for that. You don't have to touch anything. So any, any software you wanna keep up to date in the package library, uh, all you have to do is set your approval schedule and it will go through and it'll automatically update your system with all that for you without having to touch it. Uh, so as you can see, if we open up 7-zip, uh, a lot of it's grayed out just because this is stuff that if you, this we want to make sure it's the stuff we tested. <clears throat> Each step in there where it does the uninstall, then it goes through and installs it. We do have pre and post steps. So if there's things you'd like to do before and after, like say you want to disable or enable automatic updates, depending on what your preference is, you could put that in as a post step. Just put the command line or the PowerShell to do that. And then when it updates, it's going to update everything, but it won't touch your post step. So you're... Uh, addition to it won't be impacted at all. And then that's pretty much it. This package will run right out the box. I'm just going to install it against myself here. It shouldn't take too long. It's going to go through and install 7-zip, and it's that quick. That's uh, You don't have to do any building, no testing, anything. We've done all that for you. Uh, the next step would be, which I imagine will be another video, is schedules, and we'll cover that in detail in a future video. Uh, for pdq.com, I'm Jordan.